So I recently was re-watching the Andor series and realized how much I loved their cinematography as well as their set building. They have so many cool scenes that would be amazing to try and replicate in Blender to learn their composition as well as their use of set items. Today we're going to specifically remake this light fixture from Mon Mothma's house and we're just going to create that in Blender. So let's get started. This is a example scene that I have created to show you what's possible. And I think it looks pretty great if I do not say so myself. So let's click File, New, and I click on General. Then click Save. If you have a project open, select everything, click Delete, and then hit Shift A and Mesh, and then Cylinder. We're going to click Add Cylinder. And we're going to change that from 32 to 16 vertices. Then we're going to select out of it, click on our cylinder, hit tab, scale on the Z axis, and we're just going to make this super tall. It doesn't matter that it's perfect just yet, because what we're doing is we're just going to make the shape. And we're going to then click on proportional editing, click on the wave, and then click on the sphere. Now if we select this front vertice, hit G, and then Z, and then just adjust our selection by scrolling, then we can then bring this down and now we get that organ shape that we have from that pipe. Let's just bring this down, and then let's select this wrench, click Add Modifier, and then click on Mirror, select Clipping, Z, uncheck X, click Z, click on wireframe, then we can select the whole bottom, GZ, and now we have a perfectly reflected pipe. Let's click tab, three, select that face, and then delete that face. And then inside we should see a second face, let's do the exact same thing. And then tab out of edit mode again, and shade auto smooth, one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly duplicate this to use later for the outer pipes that are in this sconce light. So let's just call this outer sconce pipes. And I'm just going in caps lock because I'm crazy. Let's just call this the back pipes sconce. Okay. And one-handed typing is is on point for me today yeah all right now let's just hide that for now and then on these back ones let's hit tab and then let's activate the x-axis now this if we uncheck clipping real quickly is if we hit G and then X make sure that before you do that hit O to make sure that your proportional editing is off again then GX and then just bring those out. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then we're going to hit Shift D, X, and we're just gonna bring those out again, and then G, Z to bring down that height. But again, you can see that this is not clipping, so click Control Z, and then select clipping, and then hit G, Z again, and you can do that. Then we'll rotate on Z, and we're just gonna type in 45 and boom, now we have that angle that we see in this image on those pipe pieces of the sconce. Now, let's hit tab, unhide our outer sconce pipes, click tab, A, and then GZ, and we're just gonna bring down that height just a little bit. And we're gonna hit tab, then we're gonna hit shift A, then curve, then circle, and we're gonna use this circle to align our array around these pipes. So let's select our outer sconce pipe, then add a modifier, and then array. Make sure it's after the mirror. Then we're just gonna bring this count up a little bit, and then we're going to add another modifier called curve. Then we're going to eyedropper the Bezier curve out here, or you can do it up here, which is a little bit easier. Now it's gonna look super jank, Make sure that you right click shade smooth. Um, and then click on your Bezier circle in your outliner and then just scale it. And eventually the pipes will line up really nicely around it. Now you may notice that they're pointed in the wrong direction. Just hit tab, rotate Z 180 for me, 
but just rotate them by whatever number of degrees. Usually it's in increments of 90 to achieve the correct orientation. Now I'm going to hit 7, and then I'm going to hit Z and click on wireframe so I can see those circles. And you can see that they're not lined up correctly, but let's quickly just add a couple more until their count lines up. And we're just going to scale this until it is lined up with the Y axis. But we also need to select both the curve and these pipes and then rotate them on the Z axis by hitting GZ and typing in 90. And now they should be oriented correctly around the sconce. Now, let's add some thickness to these. So let's hit the back ones, add modifier, solidify, and then just type in the thickness 0.05. And then these front ones do the exact same, solidify thickness 0.05. Now that we've got some thickness, we can add a object in the center that will connect all of these together. So let's hit Shift A, Mesh, Plane, scale this up, it doesn't matter what size it is as long as it covers everything, then hit Control A, Scale, so that it's correct. Then we're going to hit Modifier, Boolean, select our objects, this one, and then we're going to add a second Boolean, and select the outer sconce pipes. Then we're going to hold our mouse over each of these and hit Control A, and that will apply both of them to the mesh. If we hit Tab, and then we can hit the slash button it will bring it to single object mode we're going to hit one to go into vertice select mode and then we're going to hit z and wireframe and we're just going to delete all of these random objects that you'll probably encounter when you do this dirty boolean operation then we're just going to hit x vertices and we're going to select these outer ones um, and let's quickly first you'll notice that sometimes it does not draw a line between all of these so let's just hit K and I'm just gonna select that vertice and then go all the way across here and hit enter this now gives us a nice little plane right here this is all we need so let's just hit P selection tab out and then select this again and then hit delete and now we have all we need so if we hit the slash again we can come back into our scene and go into solid view mode and we have our section that will connect our pieces. Then if we hit solidify, change our offset to zero, and then our thickness to something like one, then we've got a nice thick piece of metal that probably is too thick, so let's change it to 0.5. And now we've got some really nice looking pipes. So then, if we hit control S, make sure that you save your scene. I'm gonna call it Andor Sconce. I'm just gonna save over my file and hit Control S again just to make sure. And then looking at this, all we are missing is some lights. So let's add some point lamps. So hit seven, shift A, and then hit, click light point. And then let's just hit G and move that into the space. Now, one thing that you will need to know is that these are all currently scaled at meters. So if we go into the item menu in the N, if you click N on your keyboard, that will bring up the N. And you will notice in the item, when we have something selected, you can see its height, and this is 21.3 meters. The reason I worked in this scaling is because when you open Blender up by default, it's in meters. So what we're going to do is just select everything, and then we're going to make sure that this back one is selected. It should be yellow. And then we're going to watch the Z until it says 0.36 meters, or around there, in between 0.35 and 0.37, to get around 14 to 16 inches high scale, which is just S on the keyboard. And I'm just going to bring that down until we see that Z value go down to around 3.6. Six. That's looking pretty great. You can hold shift to work incrementally. And then now we're going to see this is like really jacked up in our viewport. So let's hit view, align view, and center view to cursor. And none of this is centered on our cursor. So let's just hit shift S and selection to cursor. Now it's centered on our cursor for sure. I don't know why it got uncentered. But sometimes that happens, and for beginners, this is good to show in the tutorial. 
Um, from here on, all we need to do is look at our light. Now you see our point lamp has a huge radius in comparison to the sconce. So I hit 7 to go to top view. And then just hold shift and bring this radius down so that it'll fit inside this tube. And then GX and there. Now we have that if we hit Alt D because Alt D makes an instance instead of a duplicate which is helpful in adjusting the light colors. Alt D is super handy for this. Then we can then create these lights. And we're just going to then change the color and just add a slight warm hue to those. Not too much because too much can sometimes mess up our lighting. Then we're gonna hit Shift D. Oh, escape, nope. Control Z and Alt D because you want the instance. And then just line that in this outer one. And then we're gonna change our transform pivot point to 3D cursor. And then when we hit Alt D and rotate Z, then we can rotate easily. And then we can do the same thing, Alt D, rotate Z and just rotate these like this. Alt-D, rotate Z, and boom, now we have a series of lights in these tubes. Alt-D, rotate Z, and click, sweet. Now, if you're in your viewport perspective mode and you get this clipping, that's because you need to come to your view and change your clip start to 0.01 instead of one meter, and that will fix any of those problems. Um, from here on, all we need to do now is select all of these point lamps by holding shift and clicking through them. And then we're gonna hit G, Z, and we're just gonna bring these ones up here. And then we're going to come in to the top view and just select these four specifically and hit GZ again and bring them up into view. And the same thing with these two again, GZ. But we need light coming out of both sides, so I'm going to reselect all these lights. I'm going to hit Alt D, then Escape, Scale Z, negative one, and then boom. Since we're still in 3D cursor scaling, now we have our lights in every direction. Now we need to parent everything together. So let's select all of your lights and then click on these back section and hit Control P, Object, Keep Transform. Then select these pipes and the curve and then select these back pipes again. Control P, Object, Keep Transform. And then now we should be able to select this and move everything. And if you forget an object, just select it, and then hit Shift, click, Control P, Object Keep Transform, and then you should be good. Epic, we have everything correct. Now let's hit seven, and let's just bring, if we select our main pipes, let's hit seven, and then G, Y, and then we can just line these up with where our wall will be, because we want these against the wall. Sweet, and then if we hit Shift A, Mesh Plane, and just scale that down just a bit, rotate X 90, we now have a wall. Oh, and you want a nice trim on it, hit Tab, hit I, click, and then hit I again, and bring this into just a size you like, and then click Control R, scroll once so you got two lines, then click, and then before clicking again, when you lose the selection of those lines, hit G, Y, and then hold shift and just bring those out a little bit. And then boom, if we go into Z rendered mode, look at that, we've got a nice sconce. Now these lights you will notice are pretty bright. So let's click the down button in our outliner and then find our top point lamp and then scroll to the bottom and then click shift, click like that. And then if we select our power and click one and then hold alt and then enter, then that will adjust the power of all of those. And then we have our sconce. All we need to do now is assign a material to it. Click on materials, add, find a nice middle ground between gold and bronze, drag your metallic up to one, bring your roughness down to around 0.25 and then holding shift select any object that also needs this gold color and then make sure that the object that has the 
gold material already selected, hit Control L, and then hit Link Materials, and it should pass on to all of them. Sweet. Okay, that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe if you liked this content. I will be working on creating more scenes and objects from Andor and Rogue One. And the next one I'm going to be working on to get you pumped is the ISB headquarters. Yes, I said it, the ISB headquarters. I think that looks so cool with their white uniforms and the white walls with the sweet geometric pieces. I'll be posting a tutorial soon for that. So keep your eye out, create more than you consume. <laughs>